Hello everyone and welcome back guys to a brand new video where today we're here back with more one, iRacing. One in the right lane. This week we're back though once again in the IMSA Pilot Challenge at Silverstone. Yes, yeah, starting this one though actually from the back of the field. We've had a pretty good run of form uh, in the TCRs so far. Probably not going to be the same tonight. I only managed to get one lap in, in qualifying before I got disconnected from the server. So absolutely love that. And yeah, this is a, a bit of a higher SOF than normal. 2.4k for this one here today. But fingers crossed we can just try and keep it clean and tidy. Of course, we did a little bit of the NASCAR racing over the weekend. If you've missed out on those videos, definitely recommend going back and checking them out. But today, yeah, back in the TCRs. Hopefully, you know, trying to gain a little bit more SR and some I rating. But I think it is going to be green flag racing then. Here at Silverstone, half an hour as always as the number three. This is very much not going to allow me to have a look down in towards the final couple of corners. So avoid the curbing. As we head through the final corner, and yeah, half an hour then here from Silverstone, and I've really got no idea as to what to expect from this one. Yeah, very, very limited practice, but fingers crossed we can just keep it clean and tidy. Maybe gain some I rating, but again, I think the focus today is going to more be about the SR, as that's immediately going to be a 1x as we head through turn one. Everyone under serum towards the inside of turn three. Yellow flag. Caution. We've already got yellow flags out. A couple of snag brakes, things like that. A lot of high undies in this one, as there are some big, big sends coming in from people off the start of this race. We're trying to maybe look for a move on Fernando. So we head out onto the straight. BMW's gone round. Another BMW off on the inside as well. There, the number 16 running a little bit slowly as we head down the Wellington straight for the first time. It's down into look, I mean, look at that for late moves under braking. Thank God we didn't commit to that. Otherwise, that would have certainly been a big collision in towards the next corner. There, the number three trying to move around a lot. Let's hopefully now we'll try and do the old up and under. I was just turning a bit too early on the exit there and don't ride the throttle enough, so we kind of drag ourselves towards the apex, not getting the understeer that you kind of need on the exits of the corners in these TCRs. So not the best opening lap in the world, but you know, again, we just got to try and get to grips with the car as well. There is again the number three, making a bit of a hash of that on the exit. We'll have a look to the inside. So we head up in towards Magnus and Beckett, who's going to back out of this one. Hold your line. Looks like it's going to be me in the end, but he's going to go way offline. That'll hopefully upset his run on the exit. We'll try and really roll on the power. More yellow flags. Another GT4 gone. So we're going to have a couple of those trying to sneak their way through later on in the race. But, yeah, only the 1x though so far on this open lap. Seems like Marco's really, really struggling. He's one of very few in this split. We're less I rating than me. I mean, we've got guys with pushing up towards 4k. In this one. So it's still just trying to work my way out around Silverstone. But I mean, yeah, this guy in front of us has got over 3k I rating. With, yeah, don't, you know, we don't want to lose ground to the guys in front battling him too hard because I think he's willing to defend everything he possibly can. Side by side out of the final corner for a couple of guys. Oh, there is a little bit of contact out of the final turn. But yeah, still P10 then. At the end of the opening lap there, only the GT4s being the main casualty from this one. Let's just try and keep it tidy though. Oh, there we go. Number three muscling his way through. A little bit of contact. Car right. Clear right. We're just going to try and sit back and watch the carnage unfold and maybe try and get a good run out of the loop. Let's try and do the old up and under. Car right. Thank you very much. Still there. Right side's clear. Oh, second instant point, though. No, that's really annoying. Keep Only going to be about a 13 lap race this one for us. A very, very long laps, of course, around Silverstone. Makes you realise just how fast a Formula 1 car is when this thing is no slouch. And lap times are close to a minute slower. Right here, I think we should... So, top time is going to be 2.14s, 2.15s. Oh, that's wide. Might allow... On your right. 16 right to have a look. There. Just pinch him on the exit. It's really not what we wanted to do there, because it's going to cost us Delta. And we should have been gaining it again. A little bit of a breakaway now to the guys in front. Yeah, I think we're going to need about 7th place here if we want to try and gain any I rating. So you really don't want to break on that curbing. Can really, really affect your run on the exit. Okay, we've just got to try and now hit our lines again. Close back into this battle pack still. There's plenty more that can be had from this one. It's got to be super smooth on the steering. Hit your marks, get the car slowed down. Which again, we haven't quite done the way I would have wanted to there. 
That's a 1x. I didn't think we were anywhere near track limits there, but okay. Are we going to see more sense though as we head back down the hangar straight? Let's wait and see. A couple of cars still going side by side. That's what we absolutely need at the moment. As we tip it in. That was rather nice. It is satisfying when you get sort of the long flowing corners of Silverstone hooked up. And the TCR is like the top three. I've really yeah, bolted away. Still a lot of battles going on though. And we're just waiting in the wings. So we head out through the final corner. Lap two completed. Might just sneak onto 14 laps here. So that's going to be a 215. Top guy's already down to the low 14s though. Flat through turn one in the Formula One car. Definitely not flat in a TCR. Is this the number three? I think he might have a look. No. Nope. Thought he was going to have a look to the inside then. A couple of mistakes though coming in, and it looks like the guys in front are just starting to break away. Just that little bit is what this guy behind doing. All contact! Clear right. Fernando apologising for that one, but we'll have the place, thank you very much. And we'll sneak past another one. So going to get a nice run back down the straight. Whoa! Where's that guy come from? Almost got completely mullered at the end of the Wellington straight there as we accidentally showed the nose to the number three. I think we're accidentally following him through the pack at the moment, because that time around we got a much better run on the exit. So you can take so much curb there, but you can't do it around the lower of the lap. Very, very old track limits here at Silverstone. the old turn one. That was nice. Seems to be able to get that corner hooked up rather well. The Audi, every time we've been near him, he's struggled through there. Very, very wide on the way in. We've got to try and keep hitting our marks, though. Sort of close back up that delta through the second and third part. That was good, right on the limit there. Doesn't slingshot us down the straight very well, but it means we stay a lot closer. So yeah, P9 would only lose us 31 I rating. So yeah, it probably is only going to be P7 we need to gain. But yeah, really need to try and focus on my SI. I you know, want to try and get back up towards B and A license, so we can try and finally get in some of the proper series. I want to get back into IMSA. I want to get potentially into ELMS at some point. I know I've been saying it for years. So just breaking a little bit. I wasn't expecting there. We wallop the curb through the final corner. We live to fight another day. That's so going to be down into the two 14s at least. B8. That lap was a 216.1. Sector 1 is 1.2 seconds. Ooh, that was not base. good. So yeah, minus 15 I rating if we were to finish here. So I think P7 would be completely neutral. Because there are still a lot of battles going on. Still a couple of guys with slightly less I rating than me at the road. So theoretically, we should be faster. Just keep our head down and focus, I suppose, and see if the Audi can muscle his way through. Was that last? That was a 216? I'm guessing because of the delta, because of the invalid laps beforehand. This car is so much fun to slide around the corners, though. You get the sense that it actually wants to a bit more, unlike some of the other TCRs, as that is... Is that going to be a line that's worked? Yes, it is. It's so weird you can take so much curb there, but not around a lot of the lap. Service and track limit, though, I'd say, are pretty predictable for the most part, as that is not the line for the old term one. That's definitely going to be a 1x. I wanted to really try and keep the instant count low today. Not looking like it's going to happen. Tip it in. Come on. There we go. we got to stay close to these two. And we've got to be within attacking range. Fernando, though, having a look past Jean Christoph. Is he going to make the move work? Oh, he gives him a big old squeeze. We have to chuck it in. The gap to Perez behind is now 1.7 seconds. And it looks like he has made the move work. Is he going to come back at him? I 
by shows the nose, but thinks better of it, and I think rather wisely as well. Are we now going to be able to stick close? It's helped us gain a few tenths on the pair of them. Like I said, yeah, we just need to be trying to tick people off. Still a mid-15 there, despite all the mistakes. I'm really trying to lay Apex this is a lot more than other people. He took far too much curve there. Oh, we got very, very close to the dirt, though, on the exit. Had to just scrub off a little bit of speed off the corner just to make sure we didn't end up getting dragged out. So, so easy to do in these TCRs. Ten minutes in, though. We're doing all right. Yeah, I think crew chief spot on there. Do not try and overdrive the car, because it's very, very easy to do in these TCRs. I did try and put a bit less fuel in the car. I think we should be good, though. Yeah, looking at it. It always gives you 45 litres on the setups I use, and you just don't need that much fuel in these. Oh, that was nice. Thought we'd love to see. Getting much, much closer. I was really reluctant to do this combo, but I must admit I've enjoyed it so far more than I thought I would. That's a lot of curve by him. We really yeah, give ourselves a nice run down the back straight. I think Mark might be catchable as well by the end of this. Depends how much they battle. Be able to get a run down into towards the final chicane. Don't think we're quite going to be close enough. I'll show the nose. See if we can just scare him a little bit. Looks like we have gained. Yeah, really getting on the power nice and early at the final corner. Keep him in your sights. Force the mistake. We'll just have a look just so we get our eye in for T1. Was that a 14? No, it's 15-1. We are gaining, gaining, gaining. Might be able to get a good run out to the Wellington straight if he messes up through here again. Let's see that going really, really wide on the way and we just nudged the curb though that time and that's going to cost us probably a run. A little bit of dirt getting kicked up onto the visor. Run to the windscreen even, I should say. I'm far too used to driving Formula cars, I tell you what. Yeah, we are now putting Gene under a lot of pressure, though, in this race. Just got to see if that forces the error. Let's try and go wide in. Don't really get on the power early. Give ourselves that nice run. Doesn't seem to be working for us, that line, very well. But it's just how I feel confident in the car. Let's go the road again. Battle's starting to form. We need to try and get a run this time around down the hangar straight. So he does run very, very wide that time. That might force him to be a bit cautious into here. As side by side they go up the road. I think the Audi's pulled off the move. Yes, he has. I was two Audi's battling. That's actually brought the other one right back to us. So now we definitely yeah, need to try and look past. Oh, that was close on the exit. We need to try and have a look past now if we want to get Mark before the end of this. Maybe gain just that little bit of eye rating here. Come on. Oh, we both run wide. Try and take a really late apex. We are, yeah, certainly within dive bomb range this time. Oh, we did get a zero X there. Someone else has gone round. That's a GT4 again. A lot of GT4s in this one. Pretty surprised to see that. Not many TCRs, but yeah, plenty of GT4s. There's a faster car behind. We're racing them for position so there'll be no blue flag. Oh, I hate it. This at Brands Hatch. Looks like we're going to see the same again here at Silverstone. <coughs> we 
we've got to try and get past this number 17. Again, he takes way too shallow a line, but he seems to make it work for himself. Just blipped off the th red line is not going to help us either. Yeah, that GT4 isn't actually taking much time out of me, though. Just a little move around in his mirrors, just getting thinking. You know, sort of playing his head a bit. Come on, we can do this. 15 minutes left. You're halfway home. Oh, we're only halfway. What a race this has been so far. Just trying to apply the pressure. Behind this guy, get your elbows out, get around him. The crew chief's bang on, we need to make the move. Oh, we can see how much he's leaning on the car. Not be able to get slow and fast out, but he parks it. I'm gonna give him a proper touring car push. <laughs> I love this, this is so much fun. Surely now we're gonna be able to have a look down the inside though. Pushing him all the way down Still the straight. Left. Clear left. He's going to try and late break us, but we'll slide it to the apex and we will finally make the move work. Might come back at me though. Good pass. Now keep pushing. Make it very clear we're going defensive. Car right. He's going to try and hook it up, but we slow it down beautifully there. It's important in those situations you don't try and outbreak him. Just got to match him on the brakes. That's the key. Just don't allow him a move. Because all he's trying to look for in those situations is you to run deep and then him switch back. So as long as you get it on that apex, very, very rarely will the guy on the outside think he wants to try and hook it up all the way around on you. And now yeah, we can try and close up to the number 14. Very, very cool hooligan livery. Oh! Oh, that's not what you want to do. 14 very, very wide on the exit. That was almost him off to the shadow round. Yeah, you do not want to do that too often, mate. That's going to allow us to get just that little bit closer. And now he's got Prowess on his tyres. He might struggle a bit more. He's all over the show at the moment. He's locking brakes, making issues. Making a hash of it. If they can navigate quickly and leave these two to battle, that would be good. Yeah, two I rate him again if we finish here. Yeah, about 16, 17 if we get past this Audi. Which, if this lap's anything to go by, might not be the hardest pass I have to make today. Very, very wide again through all turn one. Yeah, so we pretty much nailed the fuel. Tip it in. There we go. Not the best run in the world, but not the worst. Just, yeah, we're luckily putting away from Jun behind. Patrick and Juanachi. Juanachi? I don't know. I've probably butchered that name. I apologise. In GT4s, though. So we will have a couple of those to worry about later on. I mean, we're not losing really any time to Fernando. Now we've sort of got our eye in. Pace has always actually been pretty strong in this thing. Ooh, don't want to wallop that curb. We've kind of followed him though a little bit. Not as badly as we head out the final corner. He takes a really wider line through turn one. It's going to throw him off through turn two though. He's going to be able to get the car rotated back across. Yes, he is, but way too early on the brakes there. And look how much we're just all over the back of him now. The cars behind. It's not what we want to hear, though. GT falls closing in. Are we going to be able to get a run this time around? It's been such a fun race up to now. I'm so happy I decided to give this combo a go in the end. It's a lesson to myself. You've got to try these things a bit more. I often sort of look at combos on iRace and go, oh, I really can't be bothered with that, but... 
I always felt I'm quite strong to sort of get me eyeing around a track. If I know the car quite well, then yeah, I seem to struggle too much. This is the sort of racing that sim racing is all about, though. Just pushing each other, applying pressure, and hopefully reaping the rewards later on. But I mean, up to now, it's been a pretty memorable 20 odd minutes of action. Back through the old turn one though, Silverstone, yeah, and these sorts of cars. Such a brilliant little racetrack. Just taking it a bit easy through the first part. Keep it tidy through the second and then really attack the curves on the third. Very, very, very wide. Ten minutes left. Again, the Audi seems very, very planted on the exit of there. It seems to be able to sort of dig in the front. And find the grip where I just can't in the Hyundai as easily. Got BMW though closing in. Where is he going to be able to have a look? That's what we've got to be careful of now. I think Drew's not going to send it. Oh, come on, man. Oh, short shifting doesn't work. Yep, you can have me out the final corner. That's fine. Perhaps you're going to get me though. That's the key. Still there. Clear right. Lap times are pretty consistent. Oh, don't park on the apex. So annoying. Definitely lost a bit of time there. Love the Alpha Tower livery, but that's still frustrating. Right side. I'm just going to send it into the loop. Car right. What? Hold your line. Right side's clear. Why sit on the apex? Keep it nice and tidy. We've just lost so much time to the guys in front. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 1.5 seconds. Second week in a row where we've had contact with the GT4, but he just sat there on the apex. Thought he was going to send it, so obviously I went to the towards the apex of the corner. But no, he just kind of parked it. Oh, the Audi's going to let them both through at the most opportune times as well. So frustrating. Look how much time we've lost. They both run wide, though. Can I to get a little bit closer again? Oh, there we go. Look at that. A lot of time pain. Get run on the Audi now. He's gonna have the slipstream though. Oh, looks like we've got a good run this time. We're trying to get as much slipstream as we can. He's gonna go defensive. I don't mind. Big kick of oversteer on the way in, but as long as we can get the power down, which we have to the outside. He's gonna park it on the apex. We're gonna hook it up around the outside. Hold your line. He's still there. He's still there. Not quite the way I thought it would go, still but there. leaving the room. Hold your line. Oh, he's hooked it up. Fair play to him. Still there. Gonna keep the nose in though, with a bit of luck. Clear left. Nope. But he chucks it way too deep into T1. And we hook it up now around the outside. No. He's really using the power of the front wheel drive. Fair play to him. This is a brilliant little battle. Must have both of us a lot of time to the guy behind, but not too worried about that at the moment. Always locks up through there. Got another good run though. Definitely seem to be gaining a bit more down the straights now. Not too sure what that's all about.
That's line in. Oh, that's frustrating. Another 1x. With the ward about track limits. Oh, we run very, very wide there on the exit. Just sure to be able to get another run. Sticking in the wheel tracks. Just again, fill his mirrors. Make him panic. Car left. Still there. Clear left. That's five oh. minutes to go. Five minutes. He's overshot slightly. Left side. Still there. That time around, we'll give him a big old squeeze. Clear left. D6. We will finally slot back in. But this battle ain't over. Less than five minutes to go, though. Two, maybe three more laps. It's not good. To get a run now. I don't think he is. Oh, he's gaining though. Is he going to try and send it? Yes. Final word. He's still there. He's still there. Yeah, you're not switching back, mate. He's still there. Clear left. Push, push, push. When you get this, on your right. Got the run on the still exit. There. Hold your line. Oh, yeah, still kept it there. <laughs> Oh, he's got a Max for sapping me! He's still there. I'm Clear backing right. out of that one. Try and get the switch back. There you go. This is what Max for sapping could have done. Back up the inside we go. Still there. Side by side in towards Maggot and Beckett's. Still there. Clear left. And he cooks it up. Ooh. Oh, that's going to be a 1x. Damn it. Come on. A really good run on the exit, though. Side. Gonna be a drag race. Hold your line. Hold your line. He's still there. He's still there. Clear right. Oh no, way too deep. He's done the same though. <laughs> oh, we forced him into an error. The Hyundai's trying to get back in this as well. Left side. Oh. Clear left. We'll slot back in. Seventh position. Two more to go. This has been one of the best battles I think I've ever had on iRacing. off the dirt. Oh, I'm making a hash of it. Just can't let the Hyundai get the run. We can't let him get in the middle, otherwise we won't stand any chance. Oh, how he runs wide. Again, big mistake there. Where is he off? <laughs> I've actually done pretty well on the fuel then by the looks of it. Oh, he's off wide again. He's going to be very close on fuel by the looks of it. Which, you know, next one is definitely going to be the last. We should be fine. Come on. We can do this. Come on. This has been one of the best battles, like I said, like I've ever had. 
All I racing. Nope. So I just about keep it without a one X. That's five minutes of fuel left. Oh, again he's wide. White flags out. Car left. Oh, I'm gonna want that curb. Ugh. Still there. Still there. <laughs> Hold your line. Oh, he's gonna try and hook it up. We'll give him the room. One more lap to go. We're running on fumes, mate. Oh, he's gone so defensive. I mean, fair play. Gina's at the best place in the house for this. Come on. Come on. Come on, little Hyundai. I'm going to drag him so far defensive. And then finally switch back over. Oh, he's way too deep. Is he? How has he slowed that down? Fair play to him. Need to get a good run out of Maggots and Beckett's though. Might be able to get a good run up in towards old turn one again. Not quite gonna get that. Be so cautious on the way in. Neither of us hit the apex very well. Oh, we've made it to the inside! Oh! <laughs> Hold your line. Right side's clear. Oh, he's gonna sit there. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, we've got a good run. Have we got a good run? Of course, he's gonna park on the apex. Yes, we have. On your right. keep him right there, though. Hold your line. Still there. Clear right. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. Very little fuel left. Oh, come on. A force in defensive. Oh, he's deep. Come on, get on the power. Car left. Oh, <laughs> oh what a battle that's been. GG's to him. Fair play. Oh, that was brilliant right to the end. I had to keep the nose there, but it was never going to work. I didn't want to take him out right at the final corner. Fair play, Mark. That was, I think, the battle of my life on iRacing. And to think I was never going to give this combo a try. <laughs> that was so much fun. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed that video. If you have, definitely make sure you get yourself subscribed for a lot more iRacing content. But that one, that was insane.